Let's start our course by downloading the Xcode. If you have it already, you don't have to do this, but if you don't have Xcode, you can download in two places. The first one is App Store, which uh, usually have only the normal release. If there are any beta versions for developers, it's not available on the App Store. So here is only available the current public version. So if you go to the App Store and search for Xcode, Right now, you can see the Xcode is here, and if I click on it, it will give me the information about the application. And you can see the current version is 941, which is the latest release for uh, for normal version. So it's not a beta. Um, since we are going to be using the latest Xcode, which is currently in beta, we are going to download it from the Apple developer account which is not currently available on App Store but maybe when you are watching this video the current version of Xcode will be already 10 so you will be able to get this from App Store uh, I think it's around uh, in September or October the normal version of Xcode will be released to general public so for now we are going to if you don't see here Xcode 10, we're going to go to your web browser. I'm using Chrome here. And if you don't have an account of, uh, of Apple developer account, it doesn't have to be paid, by the way. Uh, you can go to developer.apple.com and you can just register to uh, as a developer. I'm sure most of you watching this uh, video already have some kind of Apple device. So you have like your iTunes account, which uh, you can use to login and convert it to the to a developer account and in your account area here you can see on the left panel there is a downloads option so if I click on downloads under the download section I have different software here you can download a beta version of OS X you can download beta version of uh, iOS and there is an Xcode 10 beta for which is currently was released on July 17. So this uh, currently on this video, this is the latest version. If you come, it may be beta 5 or whatever the latest release is. So if you don't have it, you can click on download and it will download it for you. I already have it, so I'm not going to do this. So just get the Xcode either from App Store and uh, or from uh, Apple developer account. Just make sure it's the latest version of Xcode 10.